Take your time, that's what they say But I don't care cause they I'm very unsure about how I feel having straight hair, but I can't be bothered to curl it, so... Oh well! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really great day. I'm definitely having a great day because I just decorated for the fall time. In case you can't tell, I went a little bit overboard. But I'm seriously so excited because I got lights! Do you see the lights in the background? They're so pretty, I love them! <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of my new little setup. I feel like it'll be a really cool thing to do every season and every holiday. I'll just redecorate my little background. <laughs> For today's video, I decided to show you guys a super quick DIY. It's basically just a little canvas art piece that I made to fill the space. What am I doing with my hands? <laughs> to fill the empty space above my piano. The beauty of this DIY is that if I tried to make a second canvas, it would never look exactly the same as the first one. So if you guys try this DIY, you'll end up with something completely unique and personalized to you. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. So for this DIY, you're going to need a blank canvas, a bunch of acrylic paints, and the colours are completely up to you, but I kind of think brighter colours go well together. Some painter's tape, black paint, and some brushes and sponges in different sizes. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is taking a light blue colour, and I'm just gently sponging it onto my canvas, and I'm trying not to be too neat with this, because most of it won't really be visible later on anyway. Then I'm taking a bright yellow and I'm just making some random brush strokes on top of that layer. Now I'm doing the same thing with my pink paint and I know it looks pretty weird right now, but trust me, it gets better. Again, just doing the same thing with my next color, which is an orange that I mixed with a little bit of white. I kind of wanted different shades of purple to be the main focus of the colors, so I added some white to a dark purple without mixing it completely. So when I sponge onto the canvas, you can kind of see different shades of purple blending together. I didn't really like how uniform all of my brush strokes were turning out, so I decided to take my light blue colour on a crumpled up tissue and just dab the canvas with that instead, so I could just kind of blend out the edges of all my brush strokes. And I actually went back and did this with all the colours that I used. I also wanted some paint drops, so I added some water to my colours, and I basically just used the brush to kind of splatter it all over the canvas. And yes, this does get pretty messy, so you want to make sure you cover your work surface and you aren't wearing anything you love, because acrylic paint really does stain clothes. There's really no rules here, because it's kind of supposed to look like a big mess, so just do whatever you want. I also recommend not doing this after a fresh manicure. So that took me less than an hour, and now because there are so many layers of paint, I'm just gonna let it dry overnight. Once your canvas is completely dry, you can move on to the next step. I'm using my painter's tape to create a guideline for my stripes, and I'm just eyeballing the measurements since it's nothing too special. I personally love this pattern because it kind of reminds me of the little chevron stripes, so that's why I chose it, but of course you can choose whatever pattern that you would prefer. Okay, now I'm going to take my black paint. Again, you can use any colour that you want, but I kind of think the black just goes really well against the colourful background, and I'm going to fill in the guidelines that I just made with the tape. After the black paint has dried, you can just gently peel off the tape, and it's okay if you messed up a little bit because you can just go back and fill in anywhere that you missed. And that is it! Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! 
So I decorated, ouch, that hurt my hand. <laughs> a second canvas, it would really been freaking out, moving quick, burning the wick at both ends, screaming loud, stupid shit, scaring all of my old friends. Fell down on Bedford, hope that it's not broken. Safe to say, I might have had too much for some of these potions. I love you so much, I'm staying here all night. Don't wanna get up, I don't wanna stop, I don't wanna close my eyes.